of the best things about living in Oregon is our beautiful outdoors. We have tide pools to play in, we have mountains to climb, and we have rivers to swim. And all of these natural wonders gives us information about earthquakes and tsunamis in our state. What is an earthquake and what is a tsunami? In this video, we will learn about earthquakes and tsunamis, knowing what to do before, during, and after an earthquake or tsunami is the best way to stay safe. Earthquakes. What is an earthquake? In simple terms, think of the surface of the earth as pieces of a puzzle called tectonic plates. These plates make up the upper crust of the earth and are constantly shifting, pushing against each other, and sliding over and under each other. Constant motion creates pressure between the plates. When there is a sudden release of the pressure, it is called an earthquake. During a major earthquake, one can often see the ground moving and shaking. What is a subduction earthquake? Sometimes tectonic plates run into each other or slide under each other. When the plates slide under each other, the interface is called a subduction zone. Subduction plates cause the largest earthquakes. Some examples are the 1964 Alaska earthquake, the 2010 Chile earthquake, and the 2011 Japan earthquake. These subduction earthquakes generated tsunamis, and two of them resulted in the deaths of thousands of people. A Cascadia subduction zone earthquake is considered a worst case scenario for coastal communities. Tsunamis. What is a tsunami? Tsunami is a Japanese word. Su means harbor, and nami means wave. A tsunami is a wave or series of giant waves produced by underwater movement due to a variety of natural events such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and landslides. The first tsunami wave is not always the largest wave or the only wave. Tsunami waves can last for hours. These waves can travel faster than a person can run and are very dangerous. Did you know that a tsunami wave can travel up to 500 miles an hour? That's as fast as a jet plane. What is a tsunami warning? The West Coast Alaska Tsunami Warning Center, located in Palmer, Alaska, monitors earthquakes generated in the ocean 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When scientific data from the center confirms that a tsunami is possible, they notify state and local authorities with a tsunami alert. These authorities then alert the public. There are four primary tsunami alert messages. Warning means danger run to higher ground immediately. Advisory means be prepared to take action. Watch means be alert, listen to your radio. And information statement is for information only. Here are some examples of earthquakes and tsunamis that have occurred in our region. The 1964 Alaska earthquake and Washington tsunami. Alaska can boast the second largest earthquake known in modern times, which occurred in 1964. This earthquake also caused the best recorded historical tsunami on the Washington coast. Wave heights were greatest along Washington's southern coast. The tsunami, however, was also recorded inland in the Straits of Juan de Fuca, Puget Sound, and the Columbia River. The 1700 Cascadia Subduction Zone Earthquake the Cascadia Subduction Zone earthquake generated a tsunami that overran Native American fishing camps. It left behind sheets of sand on marshes and in lakes along Washington's southern coast. During this earthquake, much of the land in this area subsided, or fell, by about five feet. The Seattle Fault earthquake between the years 900 and 930 AD. This earthquake raised shores of central Puget Sound by 20 feet between the Duwamish River and Bremerton. This uplift also created a tsunami that left deposits of sand in parts of the Puget Sound area. Safety. In Washington state, earthquake safety is important. It's as simple as drop, cover, and hold on. When you're inside and you feel the ground begin to shake, drop. This means that you drop to the ground and get on your hands and knees. Cover. Get underneath your desk or a sturdy table and cover your head with one hand. Hold on. Hold on to your desk or table with the other hand. Here's how you do it. Good job. 
job, you guys. If you are not near a table or a disc, move away from windows or tall objects. Then, drop to the ground and cover your head with both hands. Like this. If you're outside, move away from buildings and overhead objects. Then, drop to the ground and cover your head with both hands. Just like this. Nice job. After the shaking stops, follow directions from teachers or adults about what to do and where to go. If you are by the water, run uphill to higher ground because a tsunami could be on its way. In addition, you can also create a family disaster plan. Meet with your family and discuss why you need to prepare for disaster. Discuss the dangers of an earthquake and tsunami. Discuss the approved evacuation route for your area. Establish an out-of-area phone contact. And don't forget to make plans for your pets because they are family too. Now that you have learned earthquake and tsunami safety at school, practice these actions at home. Let's all be earthquake and tsunami ready together.